So we had a four-year randomized control trial that we conducted, and we found statistically significant results for things like positive behavior in the classroom increasing, negative behavior in the classroom decreasing, kids improving their executive function, self-control, self-management. So these are all great things. But one thing that we learned was those results happened when the program was delivered with fidelity and when the curriculum was being implemented in the right way and the staff were using the training techniques that we had coached them on. And so as a piece of our randomized control trial, we had another piece, which is the implementation study that looked at things like that. So the, the ways that kids were acting, was the program delivered with fidelity? Was the curriculum brought in in the right way? And we found that at one of the pieces of the implementation study showed that at the kindergarten level, the kids weren't necessarily producing the same outcomes that we would anticipate. And looking further into the fidelity in the implementation study, we discovered that we found that the WINGS leaders, who are the college-age students that work in the after-school program, so WINGS runs after-school programs that infuse social and emotional learning for kindergarten through fifth grade. The kindergarten groups were the WINGS leaders, the college students that worked with them, were experiencing higher levels of stress. They were stating that they didn't necessarily feel like they had the behavior management techniques to be successful as a WINGS leader, and the kindergarten kids were having more documented instances of misbehavior. And even diving further into implementation study, finding out that that had a lot to do with the environment where they were, where they were located. So they were in a kindergarten classroom that they typically were there all day for school, full of games and fun stuff and age-appropriate activities. And during the after-school program, they were in the same room, but they were told that they were not allowed to touch any of that. So we're trying to do some teaching and bringing in the curriculum and the social emotional learning, and at the same time saying to this group of five-year-olds, you're not allowed to touch any of this great, cool, fun stuff around you. Like, stay in your seat, don't touch that. So it's causing the wings leader stress. The behavior management, you know, is really increasing because you do have to do a lot of things to keep the kids in their seat. So what we were able to do is Bump, amp up the training for those wings leaders, find ways to reduce their stress and improve their culture, and then finally change the location so that they didn't have to be in that room where they were just constantly being told, no, don't touch. So I think it's really important. The external evaluation shows this is the potential, so that's great because we know that we can achieve the outcomes that we're hoping to. And then the implementation piece says, what do you really need to do within the program to be able to achieve that?